What a mess we have. Um, I believe our countertop for the sink is still a week out on order. So I'm hoping to get done by the end of the next week with this project. But if we don't, it could be another week. So it may be another two weeks. So I hope y'all are kind and just watch our updating videos and our um, reruns. All right, let's get back here and show y'all what's going on. So um, they got all of the top cabinets removed that was on the wall of the refrigerator. And you can see how it's looking. Now they haven't re removed the countertops yet, um, but they have placed the hood where the hood will hang. This is the track that the, the hood will hang on. The hood is 222 pounds and it'll hang right up here. Uh, the, this cabinet will be scooted over to that red mark to give us more room so that when we get a refrigerator, we'll have more room. Um, but let me just show y'all how it looks from the angle we have been videoing from. They've opened it up into the dining room. And y'all are going to find from this view, it makes my kitchen look really small. But now when we, be, we will be recording what a mess we have. Y'all, we've got so much work to do. But now we'll be recording from this view. So y'all will be seeing my work surface here will be the white laminate. And it's going to extend out a little bit right here. And it's going to be a, a bar right here in the front. So I'm going to have that work surface with a stainless steel sink. And um, the, the cabinets on this back side will be wood, the countertop. I'm going to have open shelving that's wood. I'm going to try to get them to get me a piece of wood for the shelf up here. And then... Uh, let me show y'all what we did with our top cabinets. With our top cabinets that we removed, we are putting in this corridor right here. And uh, I've got one more top cabinet about this size that will we'll hang up here. And then the one that we removed from the top of the refrigerator and the top of our old microwave, we're also gonna hang up here. So you will see that we've got a set of 12 inch cabinets on the bottom and we'll have a set on the top, okay? And this countertop will be wood. And they haven't touched this yet. This will be wood with a black sink, okay? But look how much bigger um, our workspace looks. And then I'm gonna show you a project that me and Chris are working on. Now, don't you think the kitchen looks much bigger? This kitchen is way bigger than my St. Mary's kitchen. And a lot of y'all um, couldn't believe, you know, that it was bigger, but it is. So I'm about to show you guys uh, what we're doing with the cabinet that the double oven was in. It was right here. And so what I decided to do, and my office is a disaster. The house is a disaster right now. But what we're going to do with the it, this was our double oven cabinet. And we have started a project this morning, and Chris is putting shelves in it for me, and then we're going to paint it, um, and I'm going to use it in here to display a lot of y'all's gifts. So that's what we're doing right now. Say hello, Chris. Hello. So Chris is doing a project for me. We're using this cabinet. So we didn't really get rid of anything. We're using everything that was in that kitchen and uh, because it's good stuff, all right? And um, I wanted just to show y'all what we're doing. I wish that it wasn't gonna take as long, but you know what, when it's done, it's gonna be a really, really nice. And when I'm standing here in the kitchen, um, we're probably going to put See, now I can see into the dining room while I'm working at my sink. And we're probably going to put 
some track lighting. Um, we'll probably put the track lighting where this overhead light is. I can't show y'all that light because it's a super bright bay light to give us a lot of light in here. But I'm probably going to put some track lighting here to point to the middle of the kitchen. And then we'll put some track lighting above the sink and on the sink. And it's just going to be really nice. So tell me what you think. And uh, what you think about us reusing everything. We're really enjoying the fun. Except it is hard work and it is a mess. There's dust everywhere. So all of the drawers that we organized, of course, I did remove. And they're all laying right here. Along with everything else out of the kitchen. And everything's getting good and dusty. Let me show you how dusty my china cabinet is from the construction already. Look at that. Very much a mess. So boy, I'm going to have the work cut out for me when they're done. But from this view, I'm actually going to have them cut. Um, well, I don't know. What we'll probably do is put a wood piece of um, trim here and then a wood piece of trim here. I had thought about making this a half wall. And if I do, I might can still make this a half wall. I don't know for sure. I've got to decide. But you can't take the wall all the way down because of the tile. You can see the tile right here. So you don't want to mess up the floor too much. So it's going to be pretty though. And boys, it's so much more spacious. And now I can get the air coming in from the dining room uh, fan up there. And I'm just really excited. Chris is working. So, um, that's it. Do y'all have any questions? So, we don't have anything to cook with. I do have a plug-in outlet, you know, that electric outlet that I could use in here, and I might use it and make potato soup for supper because that's something I could do really easy, and it doesn't take a lot of ingredients, and everything is just pretty much right here in the kitchen. So, I could plug that into the wall and make us some potato soup. Uh, for supper, but Chris has actually laid out some deep dish pizza that he loves it's from a local restaurant here, and he's going to heat this up. Um, he'll have to heat it up in the air fryer uh, because we don't have an oven and we don't have a microwave anymore. And that's it. He's making a lot of noise in there. I'm trying to think. Um... How long is it going to take? I think it'll be another week, week and a half before they're completely finished because they've still got to stain the countertops, stain all my shelving. I'll probably let them uh, finish it with polyurethane. I know a lot of y'all won't like the fact that I'm using polyurethane because it's not food grade, but I don't plan on uh, making a lot of food right against my countertop. And I'm going to tell you, I've had things that are polyurethane, and I've had things that are seasoned. And I've used both. Um, and let me give you an example of that. This board right here is seasoned with oil, okay? You have to continually season it with oil. I painted my nails and they're a mess. You have to continually season it with oil. This door I have had for 25 years. It was polyurethane, um, and I have used it and used it, and the, it's still got a good finish on it. You can see that, and it don't get rings on it from cast iron and stainless steel if you lay them down on it wet, and it's just a much better surface to work with. Um, I've made dumplings for years on that polyurethane door. And I've cooked on it. And uh, so I'm not too worried about it. But I do have this countertop, y'all, right here. This entire counter along this side and then extended to here will be plastic laminate white. 
So all my plastic laminate is where I plan to make my dumplings and my breads and, and use this surface here. So I'm not going to be using the wood surface to do my cooking, and that's why I'm polyurethane in it. Then I don't ever have to worry about it. It'll be beautiful for years and years and years, okay? You would love the dumpling recipe, y'all. I have so many good recipes, and all you have to do, whether you're Facebook or YouTube, is go onto your search engine, preferably Google, because that's where most of my stuff is in their platforms. But anyway, if you'll just go onto your search engine and type in Collard Valley Cooks Dumplings, Collard Valley Cooks Egg Custard Pie, Collard Valley Cooks um, Steak and Gravy, Collard Valley Cooks, whatever y'all want, um, Japanese pie, you name it. If it's a standard classic Southern recipe, fried chicken, Southern Valley, uh, all you gotta do is type it in there and the videos will pop right up for you. You don't have to search for them. You don't have to look for them. Um, and we have over 700 videos to watch. So y'all just type it in and it's gonna pop up for you, all right? So if you wanna watch my dumplings, I got plenty of dumpling recipes and I tell you how to make a dumpling that's not gonna separate it. It's not gonna separate when it hits the boiling broth, okay? And I learned how to tell you how to do that after years of doing this show and figuring out uh, the tips and the tricks, the best way to tell people to do things. So all you got to do is search it, all right? You can search CVC and then the recipe, but lots of times it may not find it. You're better off going Collard Valley Cooks and then searching uh, because not every recipe have I tagged CVC on, okay? So you can start with CVC and see if you can find what you need and that way it's short. And then if it don't pop up, try the other one. All right? Y'all got any more questions? So, let me show y'all. So I'm going to have a 48-inch stove. And I've already shown y'all the stove. It's sitting out here. And I'll go out here and show y'all that one more time. And let me show you what we're building these shelves with. This stove came shipped in a, in a plywood box that had angles around it. See how the plywood looks? And we're using all this plywood, this extra plywood to make these shelves. No, I wanted to go one foot on the rest of them, Daddy. Do you already cut more? No. Okay. I want the rest of the shelves a foot apart. Okay. So here's our big shelf. oven. Just one more shelf? Yeah. You sure? Then go 16 inches if you're only going to make me one more shelf. Just make it 16 inches. Because that's three feet. But that'll only leave me one foot at the top, won't it? Let's do one foot then. Well, then you'll have a big tall. I want it taller at the top. To display my stuff. Um, this is the stove, y'all. It's on a pallet. And it's got eight double rings. And here are the grates, and they're super duper heavy. I don't even know that I can pick one up. I can't even pick one up with one hand. Um, and I haven't even opened the doors of this thing. Y'all, it's so big. But I think the doors are going to be clear enough that we can uh, time lapse our food and stuff and do good. So, we're excited. And here's the hood. Let's see. They did open it up. This is the hood. So it's got this long strip light on the top. And then it's got these three grates. It's big. And it's got some hanging uh, rods on the side so you can hang utensils. 
So it's going to be really pretty. Yeah? Okay, let's go look at the cabinet see what we think. Did you already put one shelf in? Yeah. Okay. So we reused our oven, double oven cabinet so that I could create an open shelving unit in my office. Um, we we are reusing everything. We're not we're not letting anything go to waste. Just like this plywood is what that stove was wrapped in, so we're using it for shelving. Okay. Well, that's a tall shelf on the bottom. Yeah, but if I do another sixteen inches. Yeah. Shelf. I'll go to there. Yeah. And that'll give you. That's gonna be pretty. Plenty of room. Yeah, I say too. sixteen inches. So I'll do another sixteen. Yep. I like it. You can put any kind of thing in there you want to put in there. Okay. So um, what we did is we used the side trim piece off of the doors. And I told Chris, I said, if you'll take those trim pieces and cut them 16 inches, once we make the bottom and tack it in, we can tag these in from the side. And you'll see he's tacked those in from the side. And then he's put four of those in. See there, one, two, and then I'm going to paint this thing. Um, three, four, and then he's going to do the same thing here. So we're actually reusing the wood from the frames of the faces in the house and reusing the wood that the oven came in and reusing this double oven. And this is a drawer down here, see? Tell them about how all those guys would not, uh, they were just going to tear everything out and throw it away. See. You know, but Kelly said that she would re, would use it and move it. Right. Only one. Yeah, our contractor, the lady that does the estimating, she said those guys were just going to tear everything out. Well, they said they were going to tear everything Yeah, they were going to tear everything up. And we were like, no, we're re re reusing everything. So you can see how we've, uh, reuse this cabinet and then if you came in late see that's going to be really nice in my office I get a lot of gifts from viewers this is kind of like my catch-all room where I do Bible study and you can see the gifts that I get from viewers um, and I want to be able to these little birds but I want to be able to have a place to display uh, the gifts that I get and I thought that that cabinet would do really good and then um, this is going to be, um, this cabinet right here is the only cabinet that we have left, that we haven't done something with, and we're going to use it above these cabinets here. And then we've got two more like this that are short cabinets that were above the refrigerator and in uh microwave and we're also going to put them in there and then we're going to have a wood countertop here so we're using everything so we're not wasting nothing and there's plenty of um, power they're going to move this power outlet here to the side right here so that when I'm mixing up a cake because this is going to be my work surface when I'm mixing up a cake and stuff um, I can plug it in my, my mixer on the side, which will be real convenient too. So I'm super excited. And y'all, this part up here, I'm thinking about, I've got to go look for something, but tell me what y'all think. Do you see this back here? It's about the size of a square. Oh, let me tell y'all what we're doing on this back wall. We are using that grooved plywood with the vertical slats and we're painting this back wall sage and then I'm thinking about I was going to paint this sage but let me give you all an idea that I had see what you think I'm going to hang you know those fake windows that look fake I want to hang a fake window up here you know just the ones that's kind of got a wood trim um, up here and maybe paint the background like a blue with some clouds to make it look kind of like I've got a window up here. And then I thought about putting some country curtains like on the sides right here. 
and then something, of course, on the shelf. And I just thought it would look kind of country looking. What do y'all think about that? Do you think that's crazy? Or do you think that's a good idea? So tell me what your thoughts are on creating a window up there with some pretty looking country curtains. Um, or should I just leave it the, the green slats, the sage green, and then just put some antique uh, kitchen stuff up there? Tell me what you think. And as far as my Collard Valley Cook sign, I really don't know what I'm going to do yet as far as text on the wall. Um, so we're just going to have to wait until all the shelving goes in and see how much wall space I've got uh, before I do uh, any text or cooking like Mama did or anything like that like I had in my other kitchen. We're just going to kind of wait and play it by ear. But... Um, that knocking noise is this refrigerator. This is an old refrigerator that was in our house in St. Mary's when we bought it. And we brought it over here with us, and we've got to live with it for a while. Um, because we've spent all of our money on this, st on this stove. But you can hear it makes a bunch of racket when it makes ice. It's the craziest thing. So if you're a refrigerator person and you know how to get rid of that noise let us know but it's a good refrigerator it really is i love it and why get rid of it when it works and this is a pretty doggone good dishwasher i like bosch dishwashers the best and this is a ge profile and i can put it on pots and pans now i have to put it on pots and pans and i put it on a uh, pre-wash in other words, I use the higher cycle, but what I like about this thing is it only, um, like when you close it, the cycle is only like an hour and 45 minutes. And my Bosch, my new Bosch at home was like three hours to wash dishes. And I like it because it don't take as long to wash dishes. So I'm keeping this old dishwasher too. So we're not going to get a new dishwasher, but we are getting, of course, new countertops and sinks. But anyway, I just love standing in the kitchen now and having this big, open, nice, beautiful view of my dining room. And I do have a dining room. Uh, we have these bar stools in here so we can feed a lot of people. We've got room to feed four on this table. Um, then we're going to have a bar here, which will serve three at least. Then we've got our table here, which serves six. And then I've got, I should have a, so I mean, I can, I can serve a lot of family here. Um, I've got three chairs to go on this bar. And then I've actually got this thing because our house in St. Mary's was so little. And this actually, you can seat and serve from this as well. So we got plenty of dining room seating. So our house is uh, concentrated mostly on eating. <laughs> it's concentrated mostly on eating. This whole area in here is all about food and dining room. And I'm so excited and I'm super excited to get these cabinets in here because I desperately need them for dishes. So, um, anyway, that's it, y'all. And y'all know I've got this pantry. So i got plenty of room now. So this house is really coming together. Um, and we're excited. Now, on this side of the bar, let me show y'all this. On this side of this bar... We took out an old ice maker and refrigerator and we put the kids college refrigerator and my, my countertop ice maker in here. So we'll probably have them build a box that's four inches tall to set this up a little higher to go right to underneath the countertop and then a box to sit this on because I love this ice maker and, uh, I had thought about having cabinets here, but I'm not. I love this. For my coffee, we have the coffee machine here. We have a sink here to fill up the coffee maker. Uh, we keep our drinks and stuff in here. This is mostly for drinks. And um, so 
And that's my little trash can for my coffee pods and stuff. So, um, golly, I just love this house. And it's so different than most houses. It's just so pretty. So, I hope y'all have enjoyed watching the video. You can see how much work we have to do. Um, I can show y'all upstairs. It's kind of, it's, I've never shown y'all the whole house because it's just really not quite ready. But let me go upstairs and show y'all what me and Chris worked on while these guys were working yesterday morning. And you can see our living room is full of uh, organizers that are going to go in the cabinets once they're finished in there. But this is a room that I haven't shown y'all before because it's been a mess. And we actually couldn't get the cable working, so it's still not perfect. But I hung up our fish. This is a fish that Chris caught right here. And this is a fish that I caught when I was pregnant with May. And so that's my bass. She was skinny because she had just laid eggs. Uh, but she was long, but she was just tired from being a mama, I guess you could say. Uh, but this little room up here, um, we started getting ready. And what we're going to do up here is I'm going to get some stuff to go back here on the shelf. And we set the TV up. This TV's broke. They, they broke it when we moved, and we haven't replaced it yet. Um, but it works. It's just got lines in it. And then we put the guitars up here. And the gaming system for the kids, which is just the Nintendo Switch. And then we have, um, this is where I come up here and read my Bible. My Bible stays up here. And I sit right here in this recliner and use that light right there. And that's where I read my Bible. And this is one of, you can see I like M&M's. But this is one of my favorite places in the house to hang out. Uh, but let me tell y'all, I'm going to. I'm going to stick stickers on the wall and some movie uh, themed things for up here for the kids. So I'm going to make it like a movie room. And one of these days, uh, we'll get maybe some better furniture. <laughs> um, but for now, it's absolutely fine. And the reason I say that is me and Chris bought a cheap, cheap uh, couch. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. We bought a cheap couch and love seat when we moved to St. Mary's because it was um, COVID and we couldn't order furniture uh, much. So we just had to get what we could get. And we got this couch. And you can see that it's not leather anyway, but you can see how it's worn and it's just kind of pitiful looking. And I mean, it's fine for us. And we're not too highfalutin to worry so much about it. But years down the road, we might take these two pieces, since they are worn, and use them upstairs because they're all reclining. And use them up in the, in the TV room upstairs in the... And then we would uh, get nicer furniture for in here. But that's going to be a long time down the road because the first thing I'm doing is getting a nice refrigerator that don't make that knocking noise. And that's it. I mean, we're not hurting for nothing, that's for sure. But I'm just telling y'all we're not too picky because there's some things that we, you know, we don't mind. Um, but anyway, that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you next time. And until then... Please watch our reruns and our updates. I probably won't do another update until they get a good mo bit more done. Um, so that y'all can actually see something that's, uh, you know, as it gets started. I don't want to do it while they're working because the guys are so sweaty and hot. And they don't want to be videoed. Just like Chris and they're working now. He's sweating hot. Hot and sweaty, so he don't want to be videoed necessarily either. So we'll see y'all in a few days. And, um... I am posting a stuffing I made last Thanksgiving that I absolutely loved. A lot of people called it dressing, but down here where I'm from, our dressing is made with cornbread. And I wanted to make a, a dressing that was made with um, 
bread instead of cornbread. And you don't have to stuff something with it. But anyway, it's del it was amazing. It was a delicious recipe. And so y'all make sure and watch that when I post it today. We'll see you next time on Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Love ya. Bye.